This week's edition of Dig Nation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Netflix.com, and Dr. Testy's home pregnancy test. Trust in the testes. <laughs> Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have <laughs> flies in your freaking house? I know this in is so Southern, In Southern California, and I have fruit. <laughs> you put zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. the Dignation episode number 131. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albright. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website dig.com. That's D-I-G-G dot com. Happy New Year, Kevin. Happy New Year to you. How you doing, 2008? Doing great, and Happy New Year to everyone out there. Yes, sexy. Appreciate you tuning in. For almost, we were talking about this before the show, almost a third straight year. Almost. We're like, like at about two and a half, two little, and three, four months. Four no. eights. Two and four eights. Two yes. and four eights. Something like that. <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> Um, yeah. So we have uh, uh, we came back from the holidays. Uh -huh. Did you have a good holiday? I did. What did you do? I had a great holiday. Um, I went down to Las Vegas, mm -hmm. uh, hung out with my family for a while. Nice. Mom, dad, sister <clears throat> out there, little niece. Um, nice. Chloe, very cute. Nice. Uh, oh, Heather's niece is named Chloe. Really? Yeah. How old? Uh, four. Oh, hers is uh, five? It's so like be six? great age. Oh, so All funny. All she wants is like Uncle Kevin to give her like yep. piggyback rides <laughs> and like yeah, yeah, yeah. just a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I got some really cool stuff. I got an Airport Express, mm -hmm. uh, the new airport thinner. Nice. Does the uh, 802.11 in. Very excited about that. Yes, clearly. Uh, Blu-ray, uh, not Blu-ray, uh, HD, HD DVD. Uh, the, um, Blue Planet. Blue Planet. No, not Blue Planet. Oh, Planet Black Earth. Planet. Black. Black Planet. Black Planet. <laughs> Planet Earth. That's just a ball. It's all the planet is at night. <laughs> that's right. And no lights. Uh, it was. It's, uh, it's really good. Well, that sounds so, fun. Yeah. How about you? I uh, I went back to the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Went back to D.C. First time in over a year. I was sort of surprised. I hadn't been back in a long time. But Heather and I went, and we actually brought uh, our little dog Montana. Yeah. That was Did you interesting. Travel? Yes. I mean, well. No. No. Oh no. No no. What happened? The first. <laughs> Well, you brought him carry on. Well, okay. First off, my dog Montana should be a fucking CIA agent hmm. because we gave her four fucking doggy downers, and she's like, "Fuck that shit! I am wait. Stuff is happening. What is up?" Wow. She would not go to, and then like she'd go to sleep because she was fucking drugged, and then she'd be like, "What? Uh, somebody's getting their overhead bin. What? Uh, rah, like barking." It, well, she started whining, and we didn't know what we were doing, so we like took her out of the carry-on thing, so we had her on you our can't lap. Do that. Well, theoretically, we had some really nice um, stewardesses, Jesus. and so they were like, "Oh, your dog's so cute," and so she just slept on our lap the entire time. But I was a fucking stress ball. Wow. Did you try those? But it was really cool. No, I mean I got sleeping pills if I need them, but. Do the doggy down? I mean, they're gotta be different though, because you heard about people doing horse tranquilizers and stuff. Don't do that at home, kids. <sighs> There's or a lot of weird kids stuff. Get horse tranquilizers from. Uh, the kids son of a vet. Do not. The son do. of a vet. Yeah, that's right. That'll Probably happen. Like, Dad has some most in the cabinet. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I make that. Put those out every day for our dog and horse. And horse. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. So, but then being in the East Coast was great. We had a really great time. Mm -hmm. It was great having the dog there. It was a dream coming back. She just slept in the thing. It's we were cold like, out there. It was cold, Snowing? but it was really cool. It didn't snow. It rained once, but it was just it was just nice to be back on the East Coast. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah I, I was out in uh, New York there for, for about a week. I stayed with uh, Jay Allison, Dig, and no, yeah, Old yeah. Red 3 CEO. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, made cool. snowmen. Built jumps for his kids. Nah. That's kind of fun. It's always fun to build jumps because you're always like, how can I build this to really fuck them up? You know, yes. you need to build like, these big ass yes. jumps with like dips yes. and like a jump right after. I, in most families, I'm the tester. Yeah, I, oh, I tested Which too. is stupid. I tested a couple things with Heather's family, and I, did I tell you about this whole thing? Mm. It was like, we went to this, we were, I don't know where we were, oh, we were in Yosemite, and we, there was like this fire access road, and mm. there was a hill, and we were like, oh, this is cool, we could go down the hill, and there are not many cars on the fire access road, and then the fire access road stopped, and it just went like straight into forest. Mm. And we were like, you're gonna slow down before then. They were like, well, Alex, try it, try it, just see what happens. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like me, Heather, Heather's brother, uh, Chad, um, his wife, Becky, and their three kids. And I swear to God, I went, I started, and I was Air like. tube or sled? Sled. And I started down, and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this is totally cool. I'm going way too fast. I'm not going to be able to stop before the fire road. I'm not going to be able to stop after the fire road. 
I fucking shot off the side of the fire nice. into the air, and I I landed on my feet, ju- dove forward, did this like sliding dive roll, slid past these tree. I mean, it was like disaster did waiting to happen. Did you yourself up? Did you like get No, no, no. I was very agile about it. But when I got back up, the entire family was laughing their ass off because what they saw was me disappearing and then popping back up, arms and legs out, <laughs> and then disappearing again. <laughs> that's awesome. And then the best part is, we decided that it was safe for the kids. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so <laughs> you're like, send them down. I thought we were like, all we have to do is catch them. That's awesome. That was stupid. That's... Winter is stupid sometimes, I, in a fun I've way. I've never, it's so, so funny, my niece has never seen snow. Oh. She was like really begging to go see snow. I oh, I love that. Her. I didn't take her, but mm. in theory next year. There's always, There's always next year. So we do have to mention, I, oh. I'm drinking a little coffee. Ugh. Because we talked last uh, last time about our our uh, alcohol Healthy free January. 2000 January uh, of 08. Right. Which so, may or may not. We have a we have a couple. We have a show that's I gotta coming do up. That we, I got to do one. I'm month. just saying we got a show coming up that's going to be tough to deal with. It's but what, we got some emails about uh, about this. It was funny. I was reading them, and they're actually you know people know that we've been drinking for almost three years now. They know it's <gasps> cool to have a little break. Yeah. Um, I am. I'm having, excited to get back onto the plane to go home sober. Because that will be a new thing for me. Right. I, I swear to God. Li- yeah, because sometimes I wake up and I'm like, how did I get home? <laughs> how did you get home if you don't know that? You're taking I, cabs, I hope, from the airport. Yeah, but you get okay. onto a plane and you're sort of just like zombie through yeah, yeah. the fucking thing. Totally. And you're on a plane and you're like, I don't even know where I am. And I've been there. So um, What the hell is this? So I'm is excited because I, I drink a lot of like really crazy teas. And so I wanted to um, uh, take this opportunity to, to explain a couple of these. Uh, this one tucha? is uh, Pura Tucha, which is um, like a, it's a Chinese tea. Now, this is really interesting because this is, it's kind of like a, um, it's not really a full-blown black. It's kind of more like an oolong tea, but they press this into little pellets like this, and they're little tiny pellets um, of pressed tea. And basically, uh, this is the type of tea, Pura tea, that can be aged. What does that mean? Meaning that it's like wine in a way. That you can have some of these uh, up to like between 30 and 50 years old. Yeah. Um, the most expensive ones go for a little over $10,000 a pound. What? Of this stuff. I kid you that not. That is stupid. It is stupid. Nobody drinks that kind of tea. I would love to try is it. Is it the emperor? It comes wrapped in these little things. Um, and, and the hardcore ones have like stamps, like uh, yeah. symbols stamped into them. Mm. Anyway, this is one that I got at Whole Foods. Uh, retail on this entire thing, which is about okay. 15, sorry, I'm yeah, splashing Yeah, splatting, splashing me with boiling hot water. Thank you. <laughs> it's about 15, uh, dollars, 15 oh. servings. Uh, yeah, about 10 to, 10 to $12. That's not bad. Um, this is not, obviously not, uh, 50 years old. Gotcha. But, That's um, a very weird steeping method you have. Well, basically, this is... Is this an, an inner steeper? Yeah, it's an insert that prevents the tea from getting into, like, the main... Because when you pour it out, you want it filtered, right? Sure. So um, we'll let that sit for a couple That's minutes. That's cool. I'm drinking black coffee mm-hmm. of the across the street store variety. <laughs> <Variation>. <laughs> we will call it generic black coffee. It's actually nice to have coffee on the show. Yeah. When was the last time we had tea or coffee? It's been a while. I think it was, it was some morning. We did. We've done a couple morning ones. You know what I mean? We've been sort of like out and about. And yeah, I could have told you that. Is was that gonna, gonna be burn hot. my couch? No. <laughs> Perry, can you hand me that little glass right there? Sorry, dude. I appreciate it. So that goes in there, and then that just sits. Thank you. Yeah. So we let that steep for a few minutes. Okay. Cool. That's very nice. I could use a little table. That's well, one thing you know, I don't have. Use, we'll get you a little table. That'll be your uh, 08 gift. From who? You're nah, it's all right. Pray guitar. A little It'll table over here could be nice, though. I know. Let, let, let Prager hook it up, because that way I can just set my stuff right here. All right. Well, don't hook it up that way, Prager. Hook it up the other way. <laughs> he'll duck. He'll duck. Just go. No, he's not. Oh, oh Prager. <laughs> well, he's crossing the shot. Doesn't. You know, Prager's actually not drinking as well for uh, January. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Well, his birthday's on the 17th? 17th? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Happy early birthday. Well, let's get into the show, shall we, now that we're back? Yes, let's do it. Yes, surprise myself by you have first story. I do indeed. Uh, first story of the year, and I thought this was a really good one. Um, Gotta Dig, the official dig song, Super Bowl finalist. Is it the official dig song? You guys have made uh, it the official dig song? We haven't made it the official dig song, but it might as well be. It's, it's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, 6,419 people dug the story, submitted by UCSB. Oh! Um, you went there. UCSB you? Gaucho. No, Heather did. Oh. Nice. So this, um, it says, one of my friends, Kina. Oh, uh, dude, gr- Jeff from TRS went there. 
to UCSB. Yeah. Well, I don't know if that's where these girls are from, but uh, well, no, but that person, person was from that, and right. so good for them. Um, so one of my friends, Kina Granis, made a song about Dig, and it's really good. She's one of the ten finalists competing for a chance to be signed by Interscope Records and have her music video played during the Super Bowl. Oh, so it's an online competition, right? For an internet music person. Right. Okay. All right. right. So that's not, that's a little different than how I thought it was. So she created the song. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll play a little clip for you here since we haven't. Uh... So she's sort of a little singer-songwriter girl yeah, with a little good. guitar. Yeah. Look at the views, 262,000. That's insane. That's pretty crazy. Have you listened to any of her other songs? No, I haven't. I mean, it looks like she's put a couple up, like... Yeah. Blues song. Let's, let's do Down and Gone. My internet's so slow here. I don't know, what are you doing, dude? Like, I seriously clicked dude, okay. on the other link. Yeah, no, I saw it. There you go. So, before you play that, I have yeah. a real quick thing. Yeah. My parents live in Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. They have, they tried to get cable, just didn't work. The, the cable company couldn't even do it. They were like, doesn't work, sorry, we can't figure it out. Got DSL, and they're, they're in that situation where, yes, they have DSL, yes, it's an always-on connection, Yes, it is faster than dial-up, but they're really not getting DSL speeds. It's they're getting like 768. Slow. Well, they're probably too far away from the... It happens. It, it, yeah, and it just happens. You know what I mean? Like, it just happens. And then I was like, you know what? It would be really great if you had, like, a Fios. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, yeah, what is that Fios? We keep getting these things in the mail. It's available oh, in our house. I was like, dude. I was like, uh, fucking get Fios, and it will blow your mind. It will blow... Well, so they're going to get Fios. The doorstep. Yeah, so yeah. they're going to get Fios. That's freaking awesome. I know, How much dude. Is it? How much is it? It's like 45 bucks a month. Oh, it's nothing. Dude. It's like dirt. Wow. And you can get 15 megs up, 15 megs down. That's freaking sick. What? Uh, that's, uh, I don't know why. My Comcast sucks here. Dude, the funny thing is, is my I have I have Time Warner in uh, in Los Angeles, and my shit is fucking balls fast. Here's actually, that. yeah, I actually uh, there was a, a viewer of the show who worked for Time Warner who like called me on my cell and was like, "Is this the Alex Albert that worked for Time Warner?" I was like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Well, I'm gonna hook you up with a little faster stuff." No I was like, way. Fuck, dude, fuck up! I love that guy, dude. Dude, if there's anybody at Comcast that wants to do that for me, dude, it's great. But even fans then, I know, I know. But see, even then, sometimes it's not about how much. I mean, like my parents could buy a higher service from the right. DSL, and they still don't guarantee right. the top end, which I never get. Why are you gonna sell me a faster connection but not guarantee that I'll get that speed? That to me seems like well, that's how you rip people off, right? I, I guess they're also. It's dependent upon who you're connecting to as well, obviously. I it, know, I know all that shit, but I mean, at the end of the day, it, you should yeah, be able to connect. It should to, be faster than the right. one that's twenty nine dollars <clears throat> versus forty nine right, versus exactly, seventy nine or whatever. Exactly. It may be. Exactly. Okay, so here's another song of hers, real quick. Oh, this was a little slow jam. Let's hear her voice. Jump to the middle. All right. She's good. Yeah. She's she's young, very talented. Yeah. I hope she wins the competition. Yeah, totally. Uh, anyway, check out the full uh, <clears throat> song on Dig. Um, I, I it's in my profile, uh, dig.com slash user slash Kevin Rose marked as one of my favorites. Correct Um so, That's cool. I'm interested yeah. to see what she's doing. And good for Interscope to pick up uh, online artists oh. because there are a lot of artists that blow up on the YouTube set. You know what right. I mean? Right. Well then there was a follow up story by TechCrunch that said that she had been contacted by a few different record labels or mm. one that wants to sign her just because it got on Dig, which I think is awesome. That's that's crazy, dude. So cool stuff. It's like we're gonna see her next one's gonna be like a music a studio. Video. We better be in the room. Music video. Gonna... If she has a music video, and well, she blows if she up. makes a makes a music video of that of the Dig song, yeah. No, no, not of the Dig song. Just like in any music video. Sure. Yes, if, we should do that. It, we should do that. If it if it's because of Dig, yeah. we should somehow be in it. I agree wholeheartedly. Like we can feed her grapes or something. Or maybe she would feed us grapes. No, I don't know how that works. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not Roman, so I don't really know how that works. <laughs> I right. know there's some sort of Greek Roman. Why over by me? Just watch. Just Why watch. over by me? This is the special moment. This is the special moment. It's time to consume the first glass. Right. Now, if you notice, all the tea has been brewing at the bottom there. Prager, are you are you in on this? Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to push down and plunge once. And once I pull up, it's going to suck all of that. Look at that. <sighs> Boom. Now watch the entire canister fill with dark. Boom. Isn't that awesome? I don't know. Is that what you're supposed to do? Yeah. You just pump it a few times. Pump it. Nice and slow. Don't too fast, because that's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you were going to say something. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, it's done. 
Okay, pour yourself a tea and let's All get right. this party started. All right. It's already hot enough with these lights. I don't know how a hot tea is going to work. I know, dude. I let mine cool up. iced tea next week. Oh, that's cool. Dude, I'm stoked. My liver could use the break. Mm. You know? Dude, I don't know about you, but my family, we'd be drinkers. There's no reason not to drink when you're with my family. Same with Heather's family. Like, just whenever you get together, it's like, hey, great, let's have some drinks. And you're like, yeah. And then I was like, you know, I do this professionally. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is not is as much awesome. a vacation when I'm like, although it's really fun. Oh, dude. Magic Hat number nine. I don't know what company brews this. I was in, I was at the Daily Grill in Tyson's Corners, Tyson's Two, mm -hmm. uh, and I was like, "What, you know, what kind of beers do you guys have on draft?" And blah 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 blah. blah. Oh, and he was like, "Oh, and our manager's special is this thing called Magic Hat number nine. And I was like, "What?" Yes, I, I know. And I was <laughs> like, mean Magic I've Hat?" And I've never heard or had the beer, which is getting more and more rare. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly. Like, we've had some fucked up beer, so it's really rare when I'm like, "Wow, I haven't heard that." I had it. It was so good. What's it? What kind of beer is it? I don't even know what kind of beer it is. It's like it tastes. It it's like a sweet. It has a sweet taste, but it's not a sweet beer. So like it. it, it yeah, I don't. Yeah, look it up. Um, <clears throat> it's gonna be a porn site. <laughs> Magic, Magic Hat. Hat number nine. From the makers of Magic Hat six, seven, and eight. Here we go. Magic Hat <laughs> Brewing, South. Uh, Burlington, Vermont. Yeah, Burlington, Vermont. Uh, it says microbrewers. Oh, here's number nine. Oh, so it's a magic hat is an actual... Why do they make you put your birth date in? To show me what beer is about? Yeah. It's like, like that is going to oh, stop then, any kids. Right. Like, you know all these beer sites are like, what year are you born? Dude, beer sites? What about porn sites? Uh, I'd like to see boobs. I don't know, kid. How old are you? 75. Come on in. Everybody like, always leaves it January 1st and they just choose the drop down for the of year. Of course, yeah. Really good, yeah. So that looks pretty cool. Look at the... See about the beers. Where's the list of beers? I don't know. Boy, that's not a very good design site, it's is it? It's a terrible... There's like a blimp. Ship, shop the... Shop the artifactory? No. Home of the elixirs. There we go. Wow. Beers. Beers. Okay. Okay. Uh, seasonal ales year-round. Uh, oh, here, we can scroll. We can scroll. Number, number nine. nine. Shit. <laughs> this flash is horrible. Why does it... I know. Well, this much flash There we go. Uh, uh, 4.6... Volume, gravity, okay. Malts, pale, crystal. All right, well, whatever. It's a good beer. It looks... it, it's, I guess Magic Hat is the brewing company, and number nine is the actual beer, but it's oh. actually, it was really good. Nice. You should have brought a six-pack back. Well, they just had it on tap. It wasn't, I wasn't in Burlington, Vermont, or ah. Burlingame, Vermont, or anything. Well, cool. All right, well, let's do the next story, shall we? Yes. Ta 100 things we didn't know last year. 2,777 people dug this story, submitted by Adrian67. The most interesting and unexpected facts can emerge from the daily news stories and magazine documents, documents some of them in its weekly feature, 10 things we don't didn't know last week. Mm -hmm. To kick off 2008, here are some of the best of last year. So basically... Um, <clears throat> things were learned. Yeah, but this is a... Uh, they do a... Uh, the BBC does a... Um, 10 things we didn't know last week. So like things that, that changed, that like stuff that came out oh, last week. Cool. Yeah, right. That actually is really cool. I didn't even know they had that. I it? didn't either. And here's the top 100. Mm. Um, so I'm just going to read a couple of these because I think that, that some of them are very fun. Um, some of them are just sort of uh, cloudy apple juice is healthier than clear. That makes sense. I know, That's but now it's proven. Point. Containing almost double the antioxidants, which protects against heart disease and Who cancer. Who doesn't know this? No, I'm not saying, I mean, it's just common sense. Like, I why agree. Why somebody looking at This earlier? is actually kind of interesting. I didn't know this. The word jaywalking comes from the U.S. slang jay, a term popular in the early 20th century, meaning a rustic newcomer unfamiliar to the city ways. Hmm. Which makes perfect sense, because it would be like, it's like... You know, noob walking. Right. <laughs> That's jaywalking in uh, in World of Warcraft. It's called noob, noob walking. walking. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, let me see. Uh, Brazil nuts are seeded are seeds encased in an outer shell that weigh more than one uh, kilogram. Also, uh, very high in selenium because uh, they picked that up from the ground. And that's uh, a good anti prostate cancer thing. Oh, I like that. Uh, Anthony and Cleopatra were ugly. We know. found that out. We found that out in 2007. Ah, we saw some pictures picture. and they went, whoa, those are fugly people. 10% of university work from across the UK is plagiarized. Whoa. That number seems very, very high to me. That's crazy. <clears throat> right? I mean, what? Dude, how about this? Two cups of spearmint tea a day is thought to control excessive hair growth for women. 
Oh, so if, if your lady's got a little bit of fur. Not not like, you know, peach just fuzz. Peach fuzz, but starting to thick. get thicker. <laughs> <laughs> you get, yes. You're getting into some sort of hairy melon right. peach. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. There, are, there are three 30,000 wild parakeets in London. Hmm. Right? Yeah, but who cares about that? I don't know. We just figured this out. Right, this is stuff enough. we know. <laughs> uh, the average duvet is home to 20,000 live dust mites. That's crazy. Look at this. There's a mobile phone reception from the summit of Mount Everest. Oh, That's badass. That is badass. If you're up there and you climb that, the first thing I'm going to do is like, call my mom. That's, no. yeah, dude, right. Seriously. Kryptonite exists. Then probably Prager. <laughs> Prager, call my mom. She didn't answer. <laughs> uh, the secret Kryptonite to... does not exist. Kryptonite exists, yeah, they found it. No, they, they did, did find, find it. You find we it. talked about that, didn't we? Yeah, we talked about bullshit. that show. No, no, no. It's not bullshit, it's Kryptonite. Yes, it is what called happened Kryptonite. It's from some Krypton, Star Wars a planet fan Krypton. found a new, like, mineral, and they're like, since you found Star it. Star Wars or, or Superman? Uh, Superman fan. Found a new mineral, and, with, and someone was like, what do you want to name it? And he's like, oh, kryptonite. Yeah. In the movie, they had a chemical makeup, and then they found something that had that same chemical compound. Oh, Thank you. Fair enough. I was wrong. Science makes, yes. They just haven't tested on Superman. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in here. You should actually look over this n Whoa, list. Whoa, penis can be made into diamonds. How the hell do you do that? Wait, what? 46. Oh, I thought you said your penis can be made <laughs> into diamonds. And I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Because that's what you said. You're like, ooh, penis can be made into diamonds. And I was like, that's on the list? Uh, Peanuts can be made into diamonds. Right. That's cool. Uh, all right, cool. Yeah, it all looks yeah. good. Yeah. CDs were nearly called mini racks. Left handed people are called sinstrol. Hmm. I guess I'm sinstrol. Same here. Sinstrol. Are you really left? You're left-handed too. My entire life, yeah. Dude, me, Dan, Jeff, you, and me—all five of us are left-handed. That's crazy. That is fucked up. That's not crazy. That's fucked up. That That's is good. Statistically, not normal. That is weird. Although I don't know if Dan is. <laughs> I golf right though. I do too. Really? I bat right too. I uh, I bat facing this way, right, right mm -hmm. now forward. That's left. Yeah. My, my I, drum left, I drum right-handed, too. Really? I play Guitar Hero right-handed. I play Guitar right-handed. Mm. And Guitar Hero. And bass. <laughs> Fair enough. All right. All right, next story. Good story. Moving on. <clears throat> next one, Robbie Madison's world record motorcycle jump jumps the length of a football field more than 300 feet to set a motorcycle distance jumping world record. Now, I this? did not see this. This was New Year's Eve. Yes. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's see if your Comcast works. Oh, uh, oh wait, uh, 452 people dug this, submitted by myself. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, wow, well that was really slow. Maybe I could just uh, click play over here. No, well, you're still streaming here. it. Where'd uh, it go? I lost it. It's over here. There it is. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Are you gonna close it? Here it comes, here it comes. Should I close it? Because it's the other one already preloaded. Aussie oh, Daniel. here we go. Here we go. Robbie Madison has welcomed the new year with a new world record. It's a weird accent. A massive crowd watching on at the Rio All Suite Casino in Las Vegas. <laughs> Dude, that guy's fucking booking. Holy balls! <laughs> Is that insane? Holy What? I just did it. So. Thank you for the mark here. Madison deciding 322 feet wasn't long enough, so he had a second crack at the jump, but failed it to go. Is that the... insane? Good freaking lord, dude. That that's pretty badass. <clears throat> that is crazy. It, it reminds me of uh, who's that a professional skater? Was it Danny? Danny Way that we did the oh um, the the epic he did the, he jumped the, the transition uh, the or wall, something the Great Wall of China oh yeah 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 <laughs> Breaker <laughs> Breaker just, so just goes old. oh yeah like, yeah. yeah I remember <laughs> that that Danny Way is a fucking crazy dude guy. that dude is badass too they always put these big ass ramps like they're huge I know I know and, and like you think slow what are you doing yeah takeoff, of course you know? because if it was if it was like cheap. You'd be like fucking straight up. It, that's pretty bad. Dude, that was crazy. That guy was fucking booking. Well, booking. You, well what you didn't see is uh -oh. that he had to start inside of a parking garage and like oh. come around a corner to gain enough speed. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he, I, I don't know how fast he was going, but it was definitely like 80, you know, or more. Dude, that is BS. Would you ever do anything like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I wouldn't. Good to know. 
I, I just don't have... Uh, Good to know our show is safe. I, I did... Uh, <laughs> the only thing I ever had was ATVs growing up. Yeah. And I had a, like a little two-stroke uh, ATV, and it was badass. I mean, I, I would do little jumps and stuff, but I just never got to the point where I could even think about doing something. I know. I'd do BMX jumps and stuff like that, and rollerblade jumps and, and skate jumps, but it just... Yeah, you just get higher and higher, and you start getting less and less fun. Yeah. Like Ooh. stairs and stuff where you're like, uh, the last stairs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you're like, maybe I should put my wrist guards on and I look dumb. I know. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> I'm going to do wear, this. Wear your wrist guards, kids. No, don't. What? Listen. If you break a wrist, that's stupid, on Kevin. Though. It depends on if there's any girls there. Well, well girls, you don't wear any protection around girls. Them. And that's how people get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, this looks stupid on me. Let's have sex. <laughs> That's horrible. Wear protection. Uh, if you're going to do anything for 2008, kids. Wear protection. Protection. Everywhere. And Anywhere, everywhere you go. Supermarket. Doesn't matter. Yeah. You never know when you're going to slip and fall into something. Never know. Here we go. Next, Next story. story. Hardest game ever? Question mark. 4,633 people dug this story. Submitted by Rivalus13. My Japanese is a little rusty, but I think that that says, ha ha, watch silly round eyes try this. Oh, it's a little racist, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, so this is, I don't know if you would call this a mod. I, I love you, the music. The music is epic. Basically, it's let's, ha, let's screw with Super Mario. This has got to be fun to get people to like try and have races to see who can win. I mean, it's, he, yeah, they kill this guy a lot. And this is somebody playing it for the first time, I think, is the, is the deal, you right, know? Right, yeah. Um, this is my favorite. When he goes, he, he's like, oh, I'll go down into the tube. The tube shoots into the sky and kills him. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I think I've, I've seen a couple of these. There's a few different ones out there where yeah. people have made, you know, mods. Hard to, games. Yeah, I think it's awesome. This is almost like one of those games. This is like Dragon Slayer, where, like, you have to, like... Oh, I hate know that game. where you go, like you have to know what's next. Cause some of the stuff you don't even, ha you have no idea. Like there's one stuff where you like try to jump over this thing, and there's oh, there's something that you hit your head on. It's invisible. Dragon Slayer was like a money suck, man. Oh, I can't tell you how much dude. money I poured into that game. Yeah, well, hell yeah. It was, it was the coolest looking game out there. I know, but dude. it really wasn't a game. It was just like a series of video clips that, it, based on which direction you hit, it would play the other clip. Yeah, well, and it was a hand, it was like cartoon. Right, right. It was the first, it first time you amazing. felt like you were playing a cartoon. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I love that game. But this, I'd like to get my hands on this. I want to try this. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I agree. If anybody knows where we can get this to play, let oh, us know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Send it to dignationfans at totally right. Uh, well, dignationfans at gmail.com. And uh, attach the uh, ROM file. Oh, yes. If it's legal. Or if not. not. If it's not, point, point it to us. Right. Point us to it. <laughs> Anyway, so that is hours and hours of frustration at the hands of the Japanese. Yes, thank you for that. Mm. Uh, next story, this one a little, uh, a little funny, uh, <laughs> just because kind of had it coming to him. I love that. 2,551 people dug this story. Uh, cop <clears throat> accidentally tasers himself while arresting suspect. I have not seen this also. Uh, but talk about karma, it gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling all around. Submitted by Maki Maki. So let's take a look. Well, I was going to say the other thing is, is that it really was, 2007 really was the year of oh, the, the taser. taser. It was. There were a lot of stories, and people would, uh, you know, some of them I thought were maybe a little bit like, well, here, hold this camera while I get myself tased, and now I will be on the internet. Yeah. You know what I mean? But let's just see what happens okay. here. To a police chase in Dallas County. This one started on I-45 in southern Dallas. It ended in South Irving. Hmm. Dallas police officer involved in the pursuit accidentally discharged his taser and shocked himself while arresting the suspect. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's horrible, dude. I mean, it's funny. I mean, he's like, you can see him, like, start to, like, kind of, like... Oh, something's happening. Just walk Whoop. backwards and be like, oh, God, I got myself. Oh, Look at right oh, here. Oh, I think oh, it's on my leg. Oh, it's going off. It's going off again. <laughs> oh, I'm down. Help me. Help me. I'm down. <laughs> oh. The worst part... Here's the thing that I find the worst about tasers. What's that? The involuntary movement of your muscles. When his legs started kicking like this, uh, I was like, oh, God, that's horrible. Because that means, I mean, I know that what it is is just, you know, electricity being put into the muscle where that's what you do when you want to move your leg is your brain sends electricity to the muscle and the muscle does. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it just makes me feel so bad. Like, oh, God, that's so. I know. Have you ever been tased? Uh, no. I, I, there's a difference between 
It's the same technology, but there's a difference between tasers Taser and, and stun, stun guns. guns. Right. Big difference. Tasers shoot barbed, like, fishing hooks. That have a constant stream of <laughs> right. electricity going into you. It you. pierce your flesh and yeah. then, like, shock yes. the shit out of you. Yes. Uh, um, uh, stun guns are just prongs that they touch against yeah, your skin. Yeah, they just have arcs. Now, I have been hit by a stun gun. Not a very powerful one, though. It was pretty weak. Were you punched? This was years and years ago. No, we, my friends, uh, a few friends of mine in Vegas went to a, a gun show. Oh, yeah. And uh, they sold uh, stun guns there for, like, really dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah, And my friend um, Travis, my friend Ch uh, Chuck was sitting next to me uh, in the car. My friend Travis reached in, just fucking around, stuck it to his nipple and tased, or didn't tase him, but stun gun his nipple. It was... Uh, it's hardcore. Well, we're, so no, did, I was, you didn't I was get in the it? house, and I was just playing, because you can, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. see the thing go mine. I want to see how close I can get my finger. You do stupid shit. Yes, I know. And it was, like, a split second, and it just shot down my arm and made my arm feel, like, numb yep. almost. Yep. And <clears> I was just kind of, like, for for just a, a split second, I was just like, ah, like, get that out of me. Like, you want it out of your body? Yeah, do you so know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I touched an electric fence once. No way. Yeah. I had, like, a cattle ranch. Did you ever see that picture of that snake that got caught in that electric fence, that, that bow constrictor? No, but that sounds oh, horrible. I'll show it to you. It's terrible. Did you see that news lady who was like, and they've got electric fences, so be careful. And then she touched the other hand, and that closed the circuit. Because she was like, right. had the thing where it was just like her hand in rubber. She's like, but I'm wearing rubber boots, so I'm fine. Oh, Until next time. Swang! No she like, way. flies back. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, God. I know. That's what I should do, is I should stage... Well, that's what we should do. We should stage news uh, fuck-ups. I think that's a... Well, see, the problem is too many people know who we are. No, we should stage them by, like, like hiring a news hiring anchor people. and yeah, then yeah. saying, like, yeah, no, we've got the electric fence off. I, Let's I do this meant, thing where it looks, like, funny, and then you hold the thing, and then she goes, bang, and you're like, that's a viral video. I thought you meant, like, you would, uh, you would get tased, and then we'd submit it to Dig, and people would be like, that's Alex, he's faking it. Well, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah. It wouldn't be me being tased, right. but I, yes, I would do that. Um, so, so, good story had by all. I mean, it just goes to show you that cops really don't know what they're doing with these things. They have very little training using these things. Well, all cops have to be uh, in Certified, order to... I mean, no, 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 no. They have to have it on them. Same with pepper spray. They all have to be pepper sprayed. All cops have to be pepper sprayed oh, in the eyes right. so that they know what it's like, so that they know when I they should think, or shouldn't do it. I still it. don't think that's good enough because they're still pissed that they got pepper sprayed or tased in the first place for their little... Well, yeah. They, they just use it any... It seems like <clears throat> there's no kind of like... They know look, it's not going to kill the person. It, well, they look, hope it's not going to. I know. Well, look, he, here's the thing. Whether it's tasers or even guns, some people just aren't good people or they kind of just aren't right in the head and some of those people happen to become cops and that's unfortunate right i was driving down um uh pico actually right by um what was that bar the arsenal mm -hmm. the one we used to go to yeah and uh <clears throat> this this couple this this cop was allowing a truck to back out it may not even been a cop it may have been a security guard but he did have a gun and he was a he was like this old white dude and he was having this truck back out and he told this the traffic who was coming to stop and this couple was in this car and they were slowing to a stop. It was clear that they were stopping, but they had not stop stopped. Right. And he pulled out his gun and pointed it at the car to have them stop. Wow. And the couple freaked out, obviously, because they're going, what, don't point your gun at us. We're, right. we're, we have, there's no reason to point your gun at us. You know what I mean? Like, and it was so weird because it was like, wow, that is totally, inappropriate for that guy to do that like there was no reason they were slowing to a stop he had everything under control he was nowhere near fearing for his life you know what i mean yeah. like so i think that there are times when just people yeah, you bad know people get in the yeah you know, or not bad but just not you know as good as we would like them to be oh, yeah. i you know had a friend I mean? of mine that made it to like the third like kind of test to become a police officer yeah. and he was not a good, he would not have been a good cop. Like, we That's were all awesome. praying, like, please make him please. fail, because he will be terrible. Like, he'd be crooked and dirty, and he almost made it through. Wow. And it was just like, oh, man. Well, the system works yeah, sometimes. the system works. There you go. Sometimes. All right, next story. All right, next. My story. Uh, at $1 oh, per watt, the iTunes of solar energy has arrived. 5,731 people dug the story submitted by T. Zippy. A Silicon Valley startup called Nano Solar shipped its first solar panels priced at $1 a watt. That's the price at which solar energy gets cheaper than coal. Curious that the story did not, 
is not on every front page. Well, I mean, a lot of people don't give a shit. <laughs> well, 5,731 people did. That's why it digs around, baby, because if then you know, old media is not looking, everybody else goes, look. Because yep. um, this is a really cool thing. I mean, oh, I was even like, oh, it's dude. It's important. So, um, yeah, so this company uh, uh, has basically been able to figure out how to get the price down, because that was a big deal with solar power. Right. Solar power is, is great, but solar panels were really fucking expensive. Right. I mean, at, for a while, it was really expensive. Right. And it was cost prohibitive, which a lot of eco-technology start as. You know what I mean? Like, hybrids used to cost way the fuck more than regular cars, and you know what I mean? Like, right, absolutely. <clears throat> but, but you need that kind of, I mean, you need to start somewhere. So they always launch it, and only, you know, a few people adopt it, and eventually they can get either enough volume to reduce the cost right, or exactly. new technology. Exactly. So this is really cool. Would you Would you go... Uh, Absolutely. Yeah? 100%. If I buy a house, uh, I will go solar w with something like this. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, uh, Jay did it. Um, He's got solar power Dale in his said, house? Uh, he, in San Francisco, when he had a home out here, yeah. he completely put panels all on the roof, and it was like... Um, it was really interesting because he also had hardwired power, you know. Right, right. But he could run his house off of solar and then put power back into the lines and make money. Oh, yes, Because he was giving right. power back to the right. power company. Yes, right, 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 right. Which, I've heard about that. Which, for, from someone that hasn't studied exactly how that all works, seems so weird to me. It does. Like, you feed power back in the wall... <laughs> And it somehow flows back to the power company. And, and they like, go, oh, oh, hey, yeah, extra power. Mr. Addison just gave us 15 cents of energy today. <laughs> totally. Oh, we should weird? cut my check. Yeah, Isn't that you know, I know. Like, you could sell power. If we, could come, we need to come up with a way. That's what we got to do is come up with a new technology. <laughs> we got to, like, harness something. <laughs> like, almost like the power of the sun. Yeah, or like diamond penises. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a field of diamond penises oh. that uh, reflect the sun if in a way that we... Bro, diamond penises. Oh, shit. Uh, you know this... I know I can't it is. drink tea anymore. It's just too You're hot. done? You're done with no, tea? No, I'm not done with tea. <clears throat> I, let my, I let my coffee cool down before I started it. Yeah, that's what I like to do. I'm very excited. Anyway, so that's really cool. I, I, yeah, if, if and when I get a house, which I'd like to at some point, mm -hmm. um, just to kind of own my own domicile, you know what I mean? I'd like to really hook it up, you know what I mean? Like, I'd love to have this kind of stuff. I want to wire the fuck out of it. You know what I mean? Like, that's one of the things I always find frustrating is, like, my apartment, I gotta have cables running along the right. fucking wall so I can do things. I've been cursing a lot this episode. I'm sorry, it's the coffee. You know what I, uh, I think that's really cool about this technology, though? Hmm. I read the tail end of the, the article there. It was talking about how um, a lot of people that are, were trying to kind of create the next generation solar panels mm -hmm. have been focused more on the kind of... You're reading this. No, no, no. Oh. They, they've been focused on like the technology and the efficiency of the panels, right? And coming up with better technologies to squeeze in more power. They focused on manufacturing, right? And so they were able to <clears> produce <throat> it cheaper uh, and actually get it down to that dollar uh, per watt versus like developing a new technology. So now let me ask you this: so and the cost of manufacturing right is, went down, is, which went is down, which, which is good, enabling the cell right? Them. Rather than making a cheaper like version technology. of the panel, they said, let's just make the panel and mass produce it. Right. So let me ask you this though, I guess I don't understand the dollar a watt. Because isn't it the whole point that you buy a panel and then it's free, right? Right. So what does the dollar a watt mean? So basically, Prager, uh, can you explain that for us? Prager doesn't know. Do you know what a dollar? It's I not in the article. I mean, I read the article and I don't know. I, get, I mean, because. the price of printing <clears throat> solar panels, they used to cost a lot, I think. I'm well, but see, my question is, so, so like... You, can get, you have to equate a value, what, how much investment you put in versus what you're getting back in one. I'm not sure. I yeah. think it's getting cheaper to print the solar panel. So right. maybe that's it. Maybe it's, you know... But well, then wouldn't you at some point run out of that and it would just continually be lower and lower and lower? Well, I think you have to replace batteries and things like that, right? Over time. Because it's also being stored in batteries in a closet somewhere. Yeah, I, mean, guess so. I guess so. I guess so. I think what they were saying is that coal was I don't a little even know. bit Do above. Do you know what you pay a watt? I don't even know what I pay a watt. I, I just know that I pay about $35 a month. <laughs> yeah, I pay a little more than that. Do but, you really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I pay like one... I don't really use that much power. I'm probably coming over here and using the lights for dignation. Yeah, I use about... Well, I watch a lot of TV. I'm always on my desktop. My new computer crisis is... Dude. It's got a 1,000-watt power supply. Yeah, 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 dude. So that's a thousand dollars if you had a sun. <laughs> if you had a sun machine, that would be a thousand dollars a day. No, I don't. Every know. time you flip that, you're like totally wrong. Ooh. None of us know what we're talking about. I know, I don't know what all, I'm talking all about. All it said comes it. down to is cheaper. If you if you go out and you buy power right now, 
it's 35 bucks for a month for me here, and it says powered by coal. And for somehow, I can do that cheaper with solar now. So whatever that is, that magic technology that makes it happen. This is what's so great. If somebody came out and said, how much are you paying a month in whatever bill? And I'm like, 75 bucks. And they go, we'll give it to you for 40. I go, thank you. I don't right. care what it means, what I, you, uh, where do I sign? Right, it's better for the environment too, which is great. Yeah, well that's a bonus. So That's the thing, and that's the thing. It's got to be the same price, maybe a little bit more, but if you can get it to be the cheaper alternative, people will use it. I'll tell you what I want. Honestly, peep, that's what it takes. Here's what I want. So you can plug <clears> in power to give it back to your house, right? And I like make that. it cheaper and you get yeah, paid for that. I like that. What I want is a modular type system that, like the iTunes Music Store, is a dollar per cube. And I go out and like Legos. You mean Energon cubes? Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to buy my energy in Energon cubes. So <laughs> I know how much I have in my closet, and when I start to get close to running out, I go buy more Energon cubes. What I'm saying is that I buy them like Lego pieces. <laughs> yeah. And so I buy like a 10 pack, yeah. and I go outside, and I climb out on my little roof, and I'm like, one there, one there, one there. Oh, I you stack mean your them like Legos. Thing. Right. Yeah. And I grow my solar panel over time. Sure. You know, I don't want to go out and spend twenty thousand dollars. What? You can do that. You can do that. So we just buy one panel. How many panels in store? I don't want big Energy panels. Power. I want small little panels I can buy for cheap. Handheld panels. Like panels little you can tiny put on ones. This car. Yeah, you can put them anywhere. There's companies that do that. Well, well not this company. No, but I want ones that they can plug <clears> in anywhere. Like they're interchangeable. You can take them, put them on top of your car. You can take them, put them on the side of the house. I can put them on the back of my laptop. A boat. Boat. Watch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nate, guess what? No battery in this bad boy. Is that one of those ones that yeah, you like? I can't that? tell. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Where I don't know. There's weights inside. Oh of no, it? no, no! It's battery. Okay. Yeah. No, no. It's not one of those like where you have to get the box that goes click, click, click. I'm not talking about the box. I'm talking click. about like a thing that just it circles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what they do is they sell boxes for really high-end watches that rock the watch oh, so it doesn't no stop running. Yeah, 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 dude. I know That's about stupid. watches and shit, sort of. All right. All right. Last story. Last mm. story of the day. This one is a really crazy one. Um, about crazy people. Asus, your best defense against crossbow attacks. I'm and, excited to see or hear what the fuck this is about. And by Asus, I mean Asus, the motherboard manufacturer and computer monitor manufacturer. Yeah. Uh, a durable stress test video on an Asus LCD. 1,951 people dug the story submitted by Brian JK. This is... Oh, it, no, they're not going to shoot. <clears throat> he, well, here's the thing. It's in... Um, it's in Russian? You say Russian? Yeah. And So no oh. idea what the guy's talking about, but basically he's like... This, this is, is a not, monitor. This is a monitor. It's made by Asus, and we heard it's really durable. So we're gonna try and, for some reason, shoot a crossbow at it. Uh, well, first he has his daughter write on it, and then like you can just wipe it off, and the the, the sharpie comes off. Oh, and they're stabbing it with a nail. Yeah. I don't is even that, know. My nail's not even. What? <laughs> I take picture of men with Wait. hammer. Oh! Hits it with a hammer. Tries to hammer a nail into it. Now that's. That's pretty hardcore. No, this is stupid. How is that stupid, dude? I just don't know when are you ever gonna like have to hit your LCD with a hammer. Well, it's not about you having to. Although, it's like you're having... standing there all of a sudden and you're like, uh, and you sneeze and punch your screen, right? I, now you don't have to worry I about that. I have been pissed off when I when I freaking uh, fought those damn flying things in, in Crisis. So. Uh. The option to hit a monitor when pissed would be off nice. is would nice. Be nice. It is nice. So wait, I'm excited for the crossbow. Give me the crossbow. On. That's the point, right? Oh, there's the crossbow. And bolts. Okay. Shoots it into wood, demonstrating the effectiveness of the crossbow. <laughs> I love the music. Oh. All right, it works in wood. I don't buy this. Wait. Slow motion, crossbow dart, boom. That is freaking crazy, dude. Come on, let's be serious. That is crazy. I mean, it's stupid, though. How is that stupid? I just don't know why you would ever want to. Yeah, but you to... can. I get that you can. My big thing would be, maybe this is can be done with any LCD and nobody does it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe it'll work on mine. That's true. I just can't imagine that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't. I love how one of the dig commenters says, if it was 22 inches and this was the year 1500, it would be a fine shield. That is true. <laughs> it's true. Um, That's funny. Yeah. Oh, another commenter pointed out, which I agree, not a compound bow. 
Just kind of pull and stretch bow, like the old flex single flex bow. Well, but it's not a compound bow, but it is a crossbow, right, but which is get, a way different thing. No, 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 but you can get a compound crossbow. It's not way different. Compound's only about the amount of pressure it takes to pull it back versus the amount of pressure out. I think out. it has more pressure out, though, <clears throat> than a standard bow. Well, it Am does. It, 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 yes, yes, it does. Because but a crossbow has more output than a standard, standard single action bow. I don't think so. Oh yeah, dude. Because a crossbow that you got to pull back with both hands. Oh, I see what you're saying. And lock it into I place. See what you're right. With a regular bow, it's how much can I do this and let go. And also, a compound bow is just makes it easier to pull back and then gives you more weight out because right. you don't have to deal with it. Now, you can have probably have compound crossbows, but right, they do. a I've normal crossbow is more powerful than a non-compound bow bow. Right, I got you. Because you just use two hands yeah, to pull back. Yeah, you gotta fucking click it right. in. That's the whole point of a crossbow. But, That's why crossbows are good. I just, you know, I'm watching him I shoot, like crossbows. it didn't seem like it was going that fast. The dart just like was like... Dude, I don't... It's a fucking steel-tipped arrow coming from saying, a crossbow. He could have thrown the thing at, at your TV and it would have shattered it. All I'm it. saying is I need proof. Asus, send us that mm. monitor. We will do a live test yes. here in yes. my house. Yes, yes. With, with ball a, bearings. With a compound crossbow. Compound crossbow. Well, my friends, that is it for the first episode of 08. Yes, cheers. <laughs> cheers, Happy bro. Happy 2008. Happy 2008. To mm. all of you. Let's talk sponsors, shall we? Netflix.com with over 75,000 titles to choose from, HD DVDs, Blu-ray, high definition discs, uh, you can, st uh, uh, what do they call them, subscriptions, what is that, what offers, uh, price packages, packages starting at $4.99, as low as $4.99, head over to www.netflix.com slash dignation and you can sign up for a two week free trial they have over 40 shipping locations so you get your dvd or hd dvd or blu-ray within one business day i'll have to say i went into the preferences and i changed mine to say both blu-ray and hd dvd now yeah and so now my entire like little <coughs> queue just changed so i yeah. can get blu-ray and HD. Uh, you know I what did... i got my dad for christmas what a year subscription to netflix oh you did i That's did a great gift because i think technical people non-tech non-techie people don't even think of it as an option Right. They don't know, they don't get it how to do it. Oh. But once you do it, if you're into watching DVDs, once you do it, I think it changes your life. Oh, so I'm totally. excited for him to set that you up. You know what's funny is I don't even, sometimes <clears throat> I forget that I even have it because I, I still have my Netflix yeah, I saw it over there. there. Um, but then uh, it's always nice to have movies in the house that I haven't seen. And you're once in a while I'm like, oh, there's a movie I haven't, and you don't have to worry about late yeah. fees. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, anyway. So thank you for that. Netflix. Netflix. So we have a little bit of an interesting dilemma. Yes. We were going to do one sponsor, and then we got an email from Virgin America who gave us uh, what I would say is a super secret sponsor deal. Yeah, this is actually, this is honestly got truth. We're not just messing around. No. We got the email after the show was done, and yeah. we're going to turn the cameras and lights back on. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So um, here's the deal. Uh, Virgin, super secret. They're yeah. not even telling us how it's... All we know is it's going to be gigantic. They won't tell us anything other than they're having a four-day special from January four 8th days. through the 11th. So That's 8th it. through the 11th. Uh, go to virginamerica.com. It's supposed to be like the deal of the year when yeah. it comes to flights. Yeah, they're saying it's a new year. Get out there and travel, but you only have four days to figure it out. There's also a call-in number, mm -hmm. uh, which is up on the screen right now because of uh, technical magic. There you go. That's right. Um, and make sure, uh, well, we did that two-for-one deal with Virgin America a while ago. Yeah. And they and said that this is like bigger or as big. And it's going to be crazy. we're into that. Yeah, so. it's going to be crazy. So if you have any travel to schedule... Check virginamerica.com between January 8th and January 11th. I think they might be announcing the details on the 7th. Yeah. Maybe something like that. And uh, they have laptop plugs in every seat. Dude. Enough what? said. Yeah. All right. And video on demand. Back to the normal program. That's right. Also, GoDaddy.com starting at just $3.99 a month. But web hosting from GoDaddy.com includes 99.9% .9 uptime, 24-7 to give me support and access to Metropolis, the place to install over 30 free applications, sure to help you get the most from your hosting plans and website. Plus, enter the code DIG5 when you check out to save an additional 10% off any order of $40 or more. Summer Sixers Supply, see sites for details. Get your piece of the internet at GoDaddy.com. That's right. On to the emails, because yes. we're running a little long, man. Uh, first email of the day. Uh, Kevin, your photo was used on a WOW gold buying website. I love I this. I noticed this from Matthew. I noticed while a friend of mine playing WOW that people were spamming gold buying websites. So I checked one out and the first thing I saw was a picture of you. I'm guessing that is just a random photo they got. Uh, dig link, image link, website link. Check it out. Look at this. 
Here it is. Don't say the name because I don't want to give it. <laughs> yeah, no things. advertising for this these fuckers. So uh, look at this. You got your different types of gold that you can get, and then there I am on the right hand side. Dude, and it, oh, it I has love a quote it, from me. And they name you Ken Yi or but Ken Y. Ken Y says just. Thanks to say, thank you for your help. I will refer others to you. Thank you very much. So fake and annoying. Fake. And all these people are fake. And well, clearly. Gold. Wow, gold. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I've yeah. bought wow, gold. So Actually, I. yeah, of course. Why not? It's, I, best I, way to it's do it. great. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of sad, and it hurts me a little bit when Boy, I get it. You know what? I didn't buy, <coughs> I've never bought wow, gold. I bought uh, Star Wars Galaxy stuff. So I, I bought wow, gold, and it wasn't from these guys. Yeah. And uh, I was in there, and like some guy just walks up to you and is like, like hey. He said, bro, you want gold? You know, no, no, no. I bought it online and said, we'll meet you in your world oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in 20 minutes. And so I'm like just hanging out, and I get this message, like, Bleep, like private message. It's like, yeah. just meet over here. And then they transfer just like a shit ton of gold to you. And you feel like How much did you buy? I don't know, 100? Yeah, all right. Is that a lot? Well, that's, that's a lot when you're just starting out, yeah. Because yeah. you never had a character over. I was like level 22 or something. I just like turned 61. Dude, how high can you go? 70. Dude, 70. we got a whole freaking Totally Rad Show guild. How we have 375 members. We, we're like one of the biggest guilds on our server. Wow, that's cool. We got tons of level seven. Like, we're just like, it's rocking. It's so much fun, dude. I, it's it's so much fun. so much of your life, though. It does, and it's amazing. All right, next email. Right. This email is from Manu, and it's called Zoon Pancakes. How cool is this? Ha, ah, my I was at my cousin's over the holidays. We all have Zunes, uh, six more Zunes. We decided to make Zune pancakes. They kind of sucked, but it was fun to do. I attached a picture. How cool is that, dude? Oh, that's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. I have to say, I have the Zune 2, and I was- Oh, you got it. I, yeah, and I've been using it. I used it uh, flying back to the East Coast, um, and I used it uh, just coming back and forth up here, and pff, that's a damn good device, man. Is it really? Man, it is a so good device. So we talked about you. it on the show. Oh, you got it with you. <clears throat> yeah, it's in my bag. I'll show you. It's, well, I want to check it out. Yeah, it's, it's super slick. Super um, slick. Yeah. So anyway, thanks, Manu. And uh, sorry the pancakes didn't turn out great, but they're a cool little design. Hey, how's the uh, Zune Music Store? It's great. Is it like Microsoft Zune Music Store? Can you show me on your computer later? Yeah, I don't have it downloaded, but I can show you. Do you use you. it, though? I, I do, yeah. They have podcasts so now, so I... The Zune Marketplace, yeah. And we're going to have a bunch of Rev3 stuff there pretty soon. We already have Rev3 stuff. Yeah, totally Ratch is there. Yeah. Dignation's there. Lots uh, of uh, good music and stuff, like a pretty good collection. Great collection. And a lot of people don't know this, but more than 50% of their music, I think it's like 65% of their music is all DRM free. In what format, though? Is it like Windows Media DRM free? I have absolutely no idea. It probably is. I want an MP3. Well, but if it's DRM free, you could make it an MP3. Yeah, but you'd have to transcode it, though, and you lose quality. You don't lose that much quality if you it's go from. It's still a, quality loss. Well, all I'm saying is that that and you know that's, I was I was shocked and that the guy said that they they want one of the tenants when they launched Zoom was DRM free DRM free DRM free DRM free and then they they had to fight the uh, music people, music labels. Yeah, well, and Amazon. If they get, once they get one music label that's hold out, they're going to be all DRM free. Well, you saw Amazon, right? What they've done. Their music they changed. Store is amazing. Oh, I know. The it's people, all, all DRM free. Yeah, everybody. That's all that people talk about. And it's is Amazon stuff. I know. I know. And it's high bit rate. It's I good. know, but the and and it has to be from a company like that. It would never be from Apple. It would never be from Microsoft. It would never be from any company like Napster or whatever that has a player. Right. Because all the people who have players, the only reason they're selling music is because you they want you to buy the player. I mean, right. you know what I mean? Like it was a big deal when when Apple went DRM free. You know what I mean? But would you ever buy if you? If you had a device that wasn't an iPod, wh why would you buy anything from Apple? You'd go to Amazon, you know what I mean? Because it's all MP, it doesn't matter. Right. So I, I think Amazon, everybody I talk to who buys music says, buy it from Amazon. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. I, I've started buying some of the DRM free stuff from uh, Apple. Yeah. Uh, but I will go to Amazon now because uh, if they have it, yeah. Because I just know that no matter what, if I decide to change players, like yeah, if the Zoom comes out it. with the awesome version three or yeah, whatever, yeah. I'll go with the Zoom. You know? Well, that's the thing is um, we're trying to. I'm trying to convert Heather over because she has a Zoom now, and she was like, I like it, and she was doing the subscription based Zoom thing. Oh, do they still have that? Yes, they do. It's like 14.95 for unlimited downloads, and you use just 14.95 a month, and you can have as much music as you want. Hmm. It's crazy, but. Um, her big thing was she had like you know a bunch of music in the iTunes library, and I said, "Isn't there a, a thing where you can convert my library to DRM free?" 
in iTunes, mm -hmm. and no. you pay the you pay the money. Oh, the you difference. Can upgrade to DRM free right. songs. Right. So she, I told her, I said, just upgrade to DRM free songs, and then get it out of iTunes, and never buy another Will song. Will that in play iTunes. on the Zune too, though? I can't imagine why it wouldn't. Well, it's not Zune MP3s. Covered, yeah, but Zune plays AAC, MP3, oh, Ogvorbis. Okay, if it plays MPEG, AAC, then I think you're fine. Yeah, it plays everything. It plays Divix, Xvid. <clears throat> it's a crazy. It's a crazy player, dude. That, that's cool. Yeah. Is it small? Well, you'll show it. I'll show it. All right. The small one is like that big. Free? It's crazy. Yeah. How'd you get for free? I know some people. Like, do you know? Is it people through Ref3 or just people you know randomly? I don't know what that means. It's like, <laughs> hook me up with one. Do you want to play with one? Oh, dude. If you want one, you got one. I mean, come on. They would send me one? Oh, are you kidding me? To have you, Mr. Apple fanboy, say, this is actually a pretty decent device. I just want to play with it. I just want to spend... I know. I, I love my the Xbox. Chant. Yeah, but I'm the chance... I'm not saying Microsoft is bad at everything. No, no, no. I, of course not. I love my Xbox. Dude, it's I know. It's phenomenal. Divix playing bad now? It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Badass. And I'm telling you, if you got into the Zune, it would be cool. They actually have Zune Social, where, like, I log... My Zune, if I'm listening to stuff... Any of my friends list on the Xbox 360 can see what I'm playing. They can click and listen to a preview of what I'm playing. I can share it with them and give them the song over for the them. Over the Xbox? <clears throat> uh, I don't think it happens ne over the Xbox. Next to your friend when there's another Zune in the room. Uh, like they pair and they meet with each other. No, 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 dude. Okay, watch this. Zune dot now. I know this has all of a sudden become a giant Zune ad. Sign in. And Zune is not a sponsor <clears throat> right now. Zune is not a sponsor right now. Oh, they should be. Uh... What is this for? So you, you log in to get into the good stuff? No, this is just uh, if I wanted to. Uh, this is um, like, you know how you can sign in to, you know you can look at your Xbox Live gamer mm -hmm. stuff, like who's online, what they're playing, mm -hmm. check your messages, send messages, yeah, yeah, all that. that stuff online. Um, wow, your internet is pretty slow, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it slow? Jeez, what, what, what service is it? Uh, Comcast. No, I mean, like, is it what level of I mean, service? Fifty dollar a month one. I mean, the nice one. Every yeah. round time. Okay. Round time. Well, whatever. I'll show you this when we're when we're off. All right. Um, well, that's it for this week's edition of Dig Nation. Nice. That's that epic. The last thing? That was the last thing. I mean, right, we cool. did emails. Yep. All right. Cool. Well, until next time, friends. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Have Happy a great 2008. 2008.